welcome back to my channel. This video is one that I have been asked to do a number of times and I have never known where to start. I have got a lot of stuff to go through with you here. And when we start talking, I'm sure it will all just flow out of me, I hope. But this is my guide to luxury purchases. Basically, what's worth it, what I have collected over the years, what I get most use out of, all that kind of stuff. So if you love luxury fashion, if you're just starting out on your luxury fashion journey, if, you're, if you don't know what to invest in, what you wanna buy, what you feel safe wearing, all that kind of stuff, let me help you. I am a expert on this subject. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Like me before, my name is Kath. I am 44 years old. I have been on YouTube now for around two or three years. I started properly during the pandemic as a bit of a hobby and I've just kind of carried it on. And my videos are usually about my Slimming World journey. I've lost two and a half stone with Slimming World, um, my grey hair grow out journey, uh, beauty over 40, basically anything girly. I love a girly chat. But today we are talking fashion. We are talking luxury. We are talking where to put your hard earned cash. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the video. So background for me. Growing up, I was never a luxury person. I always loved luxury fashion, but it was always out of my reach, out of my grasp, because it's so expensive. Now, that is the point with luxury fashion, isn't it? Luxury fashion is meant to be exclusive. It's meant to be not for everyone. So, obviously, when I was a kid growing up, walking around, you know, in, as a, in my early 20s, looking around Prada and stuff like that, Everything was so out of my price range. Long story short, when I was in my mid, early to mid 20s, about 22, 23, I dated a guy who was very well off. He had a really good job and he just blew all his money in Prada, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all these things. And I was always too scared to go in those kind of shops because I didn't have the money. But he basically educated me and showed me that it's just a shop. The people that work here, they just want to sell you nice things. It's nothing to be scared of. Your money is as good as anybody else's. And it was a great lesson that he taught me because he taught me not to be ashamed. So then cut to probably, I don't know, six, seven, eight years ago, I had um, met Stu, we had bought our flat. I was having, I had a good job working in central London, I worked in Mayfair for Nails Inc. Uh, I had a good job, I had disposable income. We haven't got children, we have a mortgage, we pay it obviously, we haven't paid off our mortgage, but we have disposable income. Now I'm not justifying anything here, but this is very, very, very important because that was when I started buying luxury fashion for me. It was actually when I hit like my late 30s, early 40s. And that was when I, there were certain things I just really wanted and I had the money to buy them. Don't get yourself in debt for luxury fashion. Don't spend what you don't have. And this is a twofold thing. Obviously, if you haven't got the money, you're gonna be buying or spending or paying for this item, whatever it is for years to come save the money, buy the thing, it's done because you then view it differently. So that is my financial advice. Do not get into debt for anything fashion. It is not worth it. But if you do have the money to spend and you don't know where to start with luxury fashion, let me, let me guide you. So let's get into it. Longest intro ever, I'm sorry. Right, so for me, the easiest thing to go for is your first luxury purchase is a belt. Now, designer belts, I use my belts every single day. I wear trousers to work. I, I You can use them around dresses, all that kind of thing. But generally, I wear them for trousers. And I wear all black all the time. Immediately, your look is elevated by a really nice quality belt. And now some luxury fashion houses have been very smart and they have made reversible belts. So my favorite, and this is a new one for me because I lost weight and had to buy some new belts, is my two-tone Gucci reversible belt. So it's got gold and silver because I do wear both jewelries. It is black on one side, which is standard, 
but green on the other. So just, just to flip it, you literally just flip that round and you have a different color belt. Then you just flip these around as well. Take them out, turn them around. Honestly, genius. I love it. And it you get two belts in one. So because I wear black all the time, the green side is really nice. I do have some beautiful green trousers that I wear this with. But I just love, it is so tactile. I love the design. I love the two-tone, the gold and the silver. But this, with any outfit, it just elevates it. It just makes you look immediately more expensive. And it's not too flashy. If you're going out for the evening and you're in, you know, London or a city or something, you're not going to feel scared wearing this like you might do a big designer handbag or something. But it's just a little... A little something and it to me is the easiest place to start because you don't spend too much money it's something you're going to get a lot of use out of and it then makes you think about other things that you might want to buy so for me i i just love all of the all, all of the little bits and pieces i keep them in their little bags i keep them in their boxes i keep everything really well stored and that belt i think fairly new but it's around 425 pounds obviously luxury houses have price increases all the time now this video is going to be quite gucci heavy because that is my favorite designer and that is my second thing to you is go for a designer that is like your style i wouldn't personally wear anything like chanel or something like that it's just not my style gucci is classic but it's also we're very modern. There's a lot of good stuff there. There's a lot of things that I would actually wear. And that is the thing. If you're gonna be buying clothes and things, I don't own any designer clothes as such, like ready to wear. I have shoes. And this we're gonna to go to next. So if you love designer wear and you take anything from this video, my God, buy some Gucci loafers. That's all I'm gonna say up next so for years and years and years i bought loafers that were not gucci but they were like very gucci inspired i didn't have the money to buy the gucci loafers then the pandemic rolled around and we had a lot of disposable income nobody was going anywhere were they nobody was going on holiday and i just thought sod it this is the time i'd done my research i do know that the sizing with gucci is strange and it's not strange you basically have to size down with the shoes so the Gucci Jordan loafers in the full uh, leather, I have the black leather ones, I will insert some imagery here. Um, they are pure leather and they're Italian soft leather. When you first get them, yes, they do feel tight, but they stretch out. Now, the most bizarre thing, my Jordan loafers that you're seeing now are too big for me because when I bought them, I was two and a half stone heavier. Your feet obviously swell when you get bigger, who knew? So now that I've shrunk, <laughs> my, my shoes are too small, so I have to wear insoles with them. Not a big deal. So when I got the Jordan loafers, I realized they were a staple piece in my wardrobe. I have now had them for four years. And I think for the price I paid at the time, 425 pounds, they're now 625 pounds. Again, they're another item that if they broke tomorrow, if I had to replace them, I would replace them without hesitation. As well as, those are my kind of, I wear them spring, summer, autumn, but I wouldn't wear them in winter because it's a bit too cold. But these are my kind of summer loafers. And these are the Jordan loafers again, but these are in the canvas. These with blue jeans are just everything. They come, you, you need to get them sold. They do not come with a sole. But um, these are just, I mean, they're just so stunning. I love them. I will insert down below where I get my trees from, my shoe trees, because they're from Amazon. But they are brilliant. And they keep your shoes crease-free. They keep them nicely stretched out. They keep the shape. Because the canvas ones haven't got much give, I still sized down half a size because the inner is leather, but they don't stretch out as much. So just be aware. They're fine for me now because I have lost weight. When I first bought them, I was heavier. They were very tight, but now they have, well, they do fit just perfectly. Now I'll also insert the socks that I wear with them because I have found the perfect pair of socks that are completely 
you can't see them and if you like to wear these with skinny jeans and stuff you don't want to see the socks so i will insert those below but they're by done by sketches but i absolutely love these shoes they are just beautiful and when i bought these again these were i think they were 525 pounds i've got had them now about two years and um they're just a perfect summer piece but again they elevate any look if you're just wearing jeans and a black top a, you know blue jeans black top whatever you put them on and immediately you've elevated your look it just makes everything just look so much nicer and now let's go on to trainers so when we discuss trainers again like i said to you before go for something that is your style something that you would normally wear because this is where you're going to get the most use out of it these trainers are by Alexander McQueen and these are old. I mean, I've had these for years and you will tell because they are a bit battered, but I got them in white and these are the runway trainers. I love the platform sole. The, the writing on the back has pretty much completely worn away now, but they have just not gone down. Like they, they're so well made. They crease when you're walking, they crease here. So you have no creasing on the front. They're just so smart. I love them. I wear them to work with trousers. I've got these athleisure trousers from Reese that I wear and I wear these with them to work and it really, really works as a look. It's brilliant. I got the silver back because I thought that it would go with everything. Like there's nothing that white and silver don't go with, right? But these are so comfortable. They're true to size. I got these in a size five or a European 38. And I absolutely love them. Um, these have been around for donkey's years. They're not so trendy anymore, but I don't care. I mean, this is the thing with with fashion. It's classic. I'm a, I have a very classic fashion style. I just like what I like. And these are just basic plain white trainers. Now, these trainers, obviously, you're never going to go to the gym in them. These are for a smart, casual look. These are for a nice lunch, walking around the shop, something like that. You would never wear these to the gym. This is not what these trainers are for. These are sneakers, trainers that are shoes as opposed to trainers or sneakers. And the next ones that I got are again, fairly recent purchase. When I saw this collaboration was happening, again, this is my style down to a T. But when I saw this collaboration was happening, I started saving, I spoke to my essay, I made sure I was on the list for when they very first got released. And I got them day one and I've been loving them ever since. These are the Gucci Adidas Gazelles in the Supreme print. These are just <laughs> absolutely everything. So they have the, it's Adidas Gucci collaboration, obviously. They have the Gucci and Adidas on the sole, Gucci at the back with the Adidas logo and the print all over. They still have the Gazelle. So these are the Adidas Gazelle shoes design made by Gucci. So it, as a teenager growing up in the 90s, I had a pair of green Gazelles, which I've actually repurchased, um, just the regular Gazelles Adidas. I have them in red, green and bright blue. And these. Growing up in the 90s, I was, you either liked Oasis or Blair, right? I was a massive Oasis fan. Um, Oasis, the guys always wore Adidas gazelles. It was a thing. And I just lived and died in those Adidas gazelles. And I loved them. And this just was a real trip down memory lane for me. And the fact that they're so bougie, I just, I just couldn't not. And again, they're made so beautifully. These are shoes. These are not trainers. I wear these, again, I wear them to work on Dress Down Friday. They look great with jeans. They look great with trousers. What I, what, what annoys me is really though, is that I can't wear them with jeans that come down past here because, because this is canvas. They do material, the, the jeans, you do get transfer. You do get color transfer, so that's not ideal. So I wear them with like the jeans that sort of cut off at the ankle, those sorts of jeans. But even still, these are just such a great shoe. I absolutely love them. And they're so comfortable. There's always that risk that they're not gonna be comfortable because when they're made by a designer, design house, obviously the design, it's so well made that sometimes comfort cannot be the top priority. 
but uh, Gucci and Adidas nailed it. They're absolutely amazing. Um, the box that they came in really irritated me, so I just put them in my Gucci carrier bag in my wardrobe because the box kind of like moved out and then moved up and it was a whole palaver to get into it. So I just, the box is in the, in the loft. Next up, scarves, 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 whatever. The classic, the standard, the gold standard of, uh, of scarves the Burberry scarf. This scarf I have had a long time and you know what it's actually got a hole in it but just don't look at that. Um, this to, for me to wear in the winter with my winter coat the best part about this is that it's the same colour as my foundation. <laughs> so I put this like this under my coat so my makeup can go on the scarf and nobody will know and get any makeup on my jacket. My jacket, I've got a Canada Goose jacket, it's like a high neck. You girls will know, any time you wear a jacket and it rubs on your cheek, you get like the, the, the brown foundation line. This covers all of that. And for that alone, it's worth the price tag. I've had this for years, so I think I paid something like 110 pounds for it. Like, now they're about 300 pounds, so that shows you the price increase, right? But honestly, a Burberry scarf is just standard. It's made from, I think it's 100% cashmere. So it's incredibly warm. It is, uh, yeah, 100% cashmere, made in Scotland, um, really warm, really great. And honestly, it's just one of those standard items that I think if you're gonna start collecting or you like luxury fashion, you need a Burberry scarf. And this other one I am going to recommend, although ugh, it's up and down. Right, okay, let's go. This is the Louis Vuitton Shine Shawl. And again, it's reversible. It has two sides, which is great. So I have the gold and the brown, both of which are stunning. And it is massive. I mean, it is a shawl. It's not a scarf. It's a full-on shawl. You could use it as a bed sheet practically. And what I use it for, I kind of do it a bit like, this look horrific now, but I kind of do it a bit like this um, under a jacket or with a leather jacket. I just kind of do that in the winter. You can just throw it over your shoulders. It just looks great all the time. And again, it's incredibly well made. It has 47% silk, 26% viscose, 47% wool. It's really beautiful. And it's just one of those items that, again, you just look so elevated and so it's so like rich. But the problem is with this, it catches on every little thing. Again, I've had this for years, but I don't know if you can see anything now, but it, it there is a lot going on here. There are a lot of catches. But the beautiful thing about it is, here we go, probably see though it's quite bobbly but the, the thing about it is that it's so um big that you wouldn't really notice it like if you do this I tend to do this in the winter if you did that you can't really see but it's so because it's silk it does catch on everything but it's still gorgeous if I had to get rid of it for any reason I don't know why that would ever be but if I had to get rid of every reason any reason I wouldn't repurchase this specific thing because I've had it for years. It's kind of served its purpose. But saying that, I will use it to absolute death. Like it's it's been with me for years. It's not going anywhere. Um, yep, I still love it. And I believe now in Louis Vuitton, this is around four hundred and twenty-five pounds. So again, it's these items that they're not obviously they're a very considered purchase, but they're not out of reach. And if you are somebody that only has the budget to buy one or two bits, like something like a shawl or a scarf is a really good way to kind of dip your toe in the luxury fashion pool, if you like. But obviously, everyone's first love is a handbag. I did a video about this bag. I will post it below because I went into a lot of detail about this bag. But in 2020, I ditched the dye and I dye, I grew up my natural grey hair or my natural hair colour. And I started saving the money that I would spend on my monthly route touch up. So when my hair was complete, three years down the line, my grow up was complete, I treated myself to my dream handbag. 
Now, when I say my dream handbag, I mean the sort of bag that I wear every single day that is luxury and I like a big bag. I like a big tote bag. So my dream bag was not gonna be cheap. So I bought myself the luxury Ophidia Gucci tote in medium. This bag is gigantic and I love it. I use it almost every day, almost. Um, when I bought it, it was 975 pounds. It's now 1,300 and something. It's gone up a lot, you guys. This bag, I have to admit, I am conscious when I take it out. I will take it out when I'm in the car. If I go to central London to meet friends on the tube, I would never take this with me because it is very expensive. It's very loud. It's very Gucci. It is very out there. I, I don't feel safe wearing this in central London on the tube out and about. So I don't wear this, but I do love it. And I do use it when I go to work. Um, again, if I don't have a car parking space at work, I probably wouldn't walk to work with it. Cause again, it's quite shouty. It's quite very, very loud. So I wouldn't do that. Um, and that's just for my personal safety. I carry stuff in my bag. Obviously, I have things like my AirPods. I have my wallet. I have all of my stuff, my makeup and things, all of which when racked up, it comes to quite a lot of money inside your handbag. So I'm just very mindful when I do go out with it. But but, 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 um, I love it and I'm so glad that I picked it up and I do get an awful lot of use out of it. I wanna show you, but I feel bad showing you because it's been discontinued, but it is my favorite bag of all time. And that is the Gucci Soho Disco bag in black. I bought this from Gucci in uh, New Bond Street in central London about six years ago-ish. Um, Oh, I just love it. It's it's such a great bag for like weekend. Also, it's got stuff in there for weekend, for dinner, for everything. It's a crossbody, and again, you have to stick with your style. I wear crossbodies all the time, and the camera bag is it's square. It holds a lot of stuff. This is my favourite bag of all time, and the reason I'm sharing it is because um, the, every every designer brand does a camera bag like just go to a shop and find one that you like I mean that particular one is beautiful it's 100% leather I have it in the, in the rose beige as well rose blush whatever it's called for spring summer it looks great with a trench coat um I absolutely love it and again I did um and ah about buying the second one in the, the same bag in a different color but I get so much use out of it that it was just kind of a no brainer really. And I'm really pleased that I did. These two, I don't feel unsafe wearing out and about, mainly because um, they're small. And the best thing about them is it has the big double G there, especially this color. But if you do go somewhere that's a bit sketchy, you feel a bit unsafe, just turn it around, have this the GG close to your body and have this facing out. Um, <laughs> Job done. And the thing I love about it is you can use it as a shoulder bag. You can use it crossbody. The straps nice and long. The only thing I hate is this. This they should have had this this like tag thing that you could pull down and just hold it in place because that is very annoying. But this as a bag is just brilliant. It holds everything that I need because as, as we've established, I do do carry quite a lot of stuff on me. Um, but I have things like this which is my little money wallet thing so when i go out for like dinner or if i go away for a weekend or something i just put my money and my cards in here and i have my big massive purse that i take around with me every day i just keep that at home so i just take essentials on holidays or nights out or whatever and that's that is what these bags are great for so if you are on the beginning of your designer journey i would say get an everyday bag that you will wear every day, something that you know you're gonna love until the end of time, nothing fashionable, just something very, very standard and basic. And then a weekend bag as well, like I say, a crossbody, a, a, a small camera bag, whatever your style is, an evening bag, something like that, because these, although these are, um, like I say, they're quite casual, the black one, you can easily use that in the evening as an evening bag 
great stuff. Guys, that's pretty much the end of my recommendations for luxury shopping. I really hope you enjoyed this. And I, I just, I just feel like <sighs> this kind of video is something that I've wanted to do for ages because I don't have a ton of luxury stuff. All of this stuff that you see here today, this has been accumulated over the last kind of eight years or so. And I don't buy stuff all the time. Everything I've bought here is a very considered purchase. It's like, what do I see it working with? How would I use it? And the main thing with luxury items is when you buy them, use them. Don't just save them for best. Best never happens. Forget best. Use them for work. Use them for nights out. Use it for during the day. Obviously be safe and be vigilant with it. But like my loafers, I wear them, especially now it's spring, probably four or five times a week. Um, in the winter time, my scarves, I throw them on with absolutely everything. I love them. Bags, obviously you use bags every day. So that's that. You know, everything I have here, belts, I rotate my belts depending on the outfit. And like, if I'm wearing jeans, I'll use a bigger belt, like my Louis Vuitton belt, which is again, reversible. If I'm wearing brown shoes, I'd wear the Louis Vuitton belt on the brown side. Um, let me show you. So again, it's having those items that are like double-sided. You're, okay, they're a bit more expensive, but you're basically getting two in one. So this is a thicker belt. This is a, I think it's 40 centimeter belt um, or 40 millimeter, I can't remember, um, belt, but it's the thicker one. And this, you can unclip this and move it around and it has a brown side as well. So it's a lot more casual. So it's really, really nice for jeans and things like that. If you have brown shoes, brown loafers, and again, you could wear these two together and be really bougie. Um, you know, the op the, the, it's endless. And if you have a pair of shoes and a belt, immediately elevates everything like you have to be cunning with it like i i really wanted i saw this beautiful like oh, it's so it's so bougie like a, a, a gucci bomber jacket and it was ridiculously expensive and i thought no like if i even know i saved for that and got it i'd only be able to wear it like with certain outfits and certain things like that you know i wouldn't get the most bang for my buck is my point Trainers, I wear trainers all the time, like especially now that I'm getting older, my knees aren't as great as they were. And if I'm going out for like a nice lunch or something, I want to feel put together. And if I wore my scruffy old Nikes, I wouldn't feel put together. Wearing a pair of Gucci trainers really just elevates that look. Gucci trainers and a Gucci belt, bam, you've elevated. And it just makes you feel so much better as well. You just feel so nice and, like I say, put together. Everything else you wear, None of my clothes are designer. They're all from like Reese or Mango or New Look and h and i I'm very much a high street girl when it comes to clothes, but the little extras, the little accessories, they can be luxury and it immediately makes everything look more expensive. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. I will see you very, very soon. Take care guys, have a great week.